Hello and welcome to the teaching ministry of Calvary Community Church, Madawan, Michigan. Um, we're going to start a series out of Isaiah. This is a, a, a jumping from our Bible school theme that we had. The last night of Bible school dealt with Isaiah 53. And I thought, you know what? Let's spend some time with highlights from Isaiah. So if you have a Bible, I encourage you to open it. We're going to look at Isaiah 53 shortly now and longer Sunday morning here at Calvary Community Church. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I ask for wisdom from you to engage and educate your people that are watching this video. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, Isaiah is interesting. Isaiah is a prophet who, who lived during the time of four of the kings of Judah, 740 BC to about 680 BC. He had contemporary prophets of Amos, of Micah, of Hosea. He lived in a tumultuous time but also some good times for the land of Judah. But, it, but Isaiah 53, and, and there's other passages in Isaiah which talk about the coming Messiah. And Isaiah 53 is a passage called the suffering servant. And it's the passage we looked at last week when um, in Acts, when Philip, one of the first deacons, meets the Ethiopian treasure on the way home as the treasure is going back to Ethiopia and he becomes a Christian. And he starts the church in Ethiopia, which is still going today. Anyway, he didn't know, the treasurer didn't know what Isaiah was saying. Philip explained it. So here we go. Right now, it's going to be a little short explanation Sunday morning. Here, we're going to have a little bit longer explanation from Isaiah 53. Isaiah starts off with saying, Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? It starts with a question. Who's going to believe this? Who's going to believe about the Messiah coming? Because the Messiah is not going to be the one who the Jewish people looked for. They were looking for the king. They were looking for one like David who would overthrow the Roman Empire. And Christ came as the servant, the suffering servant. Who would believe it? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Who has seen the strength of God? The Hebrew people saw the strength of God, but they didn't believe. Do you and I see that strength? I've seen God's strength in my life. Do I believe? Isaiah says the Messiah will grow up before him like the creator, on a tender, like a tender shoot, out of dry ground. Hmm, the shoot, the shoot of Jesse, the stump of Jesse, the father to King David. A, a shoot that comes out of a stump, you think the tree is dead, and then a, a shoot starts to grow. Jesus comes from the line of David, from the line of David's father, Jesse. He had no beauty or majesty that would attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows, familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. You now we, we like to portray Jesus as being this handsome, rugged man, good looking man, taller than all the other Jewish individuals. <sighs> Friends, Isaiah says, man, there was really nothing, no special outward beauty about him that would attract us to him or attract the people. Nothing in his appearance. That, that it's like, wow, we're going to follow that guy. He is so good looking. No. Isaiah says, no. He was despised, rejected. Surely he took up our infirmities, carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. This idea here is that he took up, he bore, is the idea of pregnancy. And a woman bears the baby for nine months and then gives birth. That Jesus bore my sin, your sin, on the cross. The punishment and the peace that he took brought us peace. And by his wounds we are healed. He was whipped, he was beaten. By his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. We've all wandered. We wander. Sheep are dumb. Sheep wander. We wander. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity, the sin of all of us. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was like a lamb led to the slaughter. As a sheep before the shears is silent, he did not open his mouth. He was sinless and silent. That's amazing. He didn't speak up for himself. He could have. By oppression, the judgment, he was taken away. Who can speak of his descendants? Some people today say, well, Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene and they had children, yada, yada, yada. That is not true, friends. That is not true. He had no children. For he was cut off from the land of the living. He died. He was buried for three days. The transgression of my people, he was stricken. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. 
Joseph of Arimathea. He was buried in, in a borrowed tomb. Though he had done no violence, no deceit in his mouth, the Lord's will was to crush him and to cause him to suffer. The Lord makes his life a guilt offering. A guilt offering was an offering that the Jewish people would give on the, on the, the altar and the entire animal would be burned up. The entire animal. Christ gave entirely of who he was to forgive my sin, to forgive your sin. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of day. We know after three days, the resurrection took place. And by his knowledge, his righteous servant would justify many, and he has borne their sin. Therefore, I give him a portion among the great, and he would divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death, was numbered with the transgressors. He bore the sin of many and made the trans intercession for all people. Friends, at one day, at the knee of Jesus, at the one day, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is truly King of kings and Lord of lords. Isaiah prophesies about him coming 700 years before he came. We live now 2,000 years after his coming. We can look back and see how Jesus fulfilled Isaiah. We're going to see the highlights of Isaiah, how he fulfills all of Isaiah. He is my Messiah. I pray that he is also your Messiah, your Savior as he is my Savior. Friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he lift up his face upon you. May he grant you grace and peace. And may he open up the Old Testament words from the prophet Messiah, Isaiah and make them living in your life today. Thank you for watching.